so how, how does the robotic hip replacement work? Um, it uses the same conventional um, implants as, as a conventional hip replacement, but what it enables the surgeon to do is, is have precise precision feedback as to how we're positioning the implants in that individual patient. Um, there are in infrared cameras that allow us to have the exact angle in the position of the, the socket and in, in how we're implanting it into the patient, and also the exact changes we've made in leg length and offset, which are the key parameters in hip replacement surgery that we're trying to recreate in, in the normal, in, 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 and gain that normal anatomy in the patient. Um, if we get the leg length wrong, then a patient can feel that their leg is too long afterwards, or indeed their leg is too short. If we get their offset wrong, it can increase the risk of dislocation and also can cause other problems if we increase the offset and cause pain, lateral sided hip pain after surgery. Likewise, with the, the socket positioning, how we position that socket can increase the risk of dislocation if we position it incorrectly. So essentially, the robot allows us more information, feedback on how we're positioning the implants so that it therefore reduces the risks of these complications occurring. The advantages of the robotic hip replacement are in, in line with what I was saying in the previous question, is that it really reduces the risk of complications, particularly risk of dislocation, because we're getting precision feedback as to um, what position we're putting the implants in to reduce the risk of dislocation, and also uh, reducing the risk of leg length discrepancies, making the patient too long in the leg or too short in the leg after the operation. And um, these are the, the main um, risks that we're um, reducing, um, which, which make it a, a significant improvement in the, I feel, in the post-operative outcomes for patients moving forward for the whole longevity of their, of their implant's life. So with a conventional hip replacement, we have a few parameters that we can use to um, restore the patient's correct anatomy. And um, we have templating software on the x-rays that we can use, which we also use for the um, uh, robotic hip replacement as well. And then slightly more crude methods of measuring or restoring the leg length and offset which generally involve feeling where the knee is relative to the other knee and checking that difference from before we started the surgery with the patient lying on the bed to how we've changed it after the surgery. And then how the hip feels in terms of we take it through a range of motion to see how stable it is and how much tension there is on the hip to determine that offset. So it's, it's a slightly crude method and it's certainly not precision. Whereas with the robotic um, navigated hip replacement, we are able to have feedback in terms of absolute degrees, angles of degrees of um, antiversion of the cup. So how far the socket is facing forwards or how open and closed it is. And it gives us you know, absolutely accurate um, feedback from that. And then in terms of offset, and leg length, we get the absolute millimeters of, of offset from change before the operation to change when we're doing our trials with the implants and same with the leg length. So we're really able to accurately get exact um, restoration of the patient's correct leg length, correct offset and correct acetabular positioning and all that allows us to be much more precise in our implantation and that will significantly reduce the risk of um, complications such as dislocation and leg length discrepancies after the operation. 
The main difference in terms of complications with a, a robotic navigated hip replacement compared to a conventional hip replacement is a significant reduction in the risk of dislocation and leg length discrepancy. The advantage with the robotic system is that we have really accurate, precise feedback from the, the uh, robotic system that gives us absolute angles of uh, positioning of the cup so that we can make sure it's in is absolutely the correct position for the patient. And also the absolute correction of their leg length and offset down to the nearest millimeter. So we're really getting to precise uh, levels of restoration of the biomechanics and um, correct uh, anatomy for that patient, um, which is much more accurate than the more crude assessments we have via the conventional approach. So those are the, that, that's the main difference in terms of the risks of, um, uh, of robotic versus uh, conventional. The, the other risks are the, the same. There's the same risk of infection, uh, blood clots, you know, infection, we give antibiotics at the time of surgery to reduce the risk. Risk is about 0.5%. Blood clots, risk of about 2%. We give blood thinning medication to reduce those risks. Similar risks, um, or same, same risk profile for other, other um, complications, such as uh, fracture, um, wear and loosening. Although I would say probably using the robotic because we get more precision and correct implantation, I generally say the life expectancy of a hip replacement is about 20 to 25 years. And with accurate positioning of the, of the, of the uh, components, there's probably reduced wear with that accuracy. So we're really looking at the 20 to 25 year um, longevity of the implants.